Welcome back to U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition. Well, beef is critically important to not just the University of Nebraska, but also the entire state. Agriculture is the largest industry in Nebraska, and beef production, well, that ranks number one. And as we found out this week, there's a new focus on feedlots, and one that could answer questions of, for both today and tomorrow. What was a blank canvas now shows signs of progress. This aerial view will give you a hint of something grand currently taking shape. Uh, the Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center here at the University of Nebraska is really a commercial scaled research facility. Galen Erickson is the feedlot extension specialist for the state, as well as a faculty member at the university. The new Feedlot Innovation Center is a commercial scale, meaning we'll have 60 head per pen, different housing systems, and we're hoping to do a lot of innovations, be a test bed to, to evaluate new technologies, and really do more and better things than we've ever been able to do in the past. The $7.4 million project should be finished in early 2024, propelling the University of Nebraska's focus on research, teaching, and extension into the future of feedlot production. The Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center is unique because we have multiple housing systems, so we'll actually be able to evaluate four different ways, uh, facility types, if you will, for feedlot cattle. That allows us to evaluate not just traditional measures that we do, such as how much do cattle gain? What's their feed conversions? What are the impacts on carcass traits? Those are traditional measures we'll do in all experiments. Plans for the new Feedlot Innovation Center started five years ago, designed to answer various production questions within feedlots today. What's unique about this is all of the other measurements we're going to do, such as what does that do to the environment for the cattle and cattle behavior, animal welfare, stress, and so on. What does that do for animal health outcomes, such as lameness, BRD, et cetera? And then what's it do for our environmental issues? In other words, what's the effect of the cattle on the environment? So we're gonna be looking at manure issues, nutrient mass balance through those facilities. And for producers, this will cater to some of their questions as well. A lot of interest and been a lot of support from producers on seeing this facility come to fruition. A lot of excitement about the evaluation of different housing systems, including some of the roller compacted concrete that will have surfaced on some outdoor pens. Erickson says it's exciting to see the project come to fruition, especially considering it will also be an extension of the classroom. Most importantly, we will have a student experience opportunity. So if you're an undergraduate student and, and more and more of them have interest in beef production, but with less and less beef production experience, and there's nothing better than getting a commercial scaled experience to really know is this for me or not. As students get the chance to be on the cutting edge of technology, they'll then be able to take that into their careers but this facility could also untap other recipes for success. The other thing is, is there's certain things that we're doing today, such as trying to solve some of our environmental challenges, looking at precision technologies to make better and more informed decisions by producers, and a host of other things that really have to be done at scale. I think the work that we do in, in nutrition and management and other disciplines with our current facility uh, is, is phenomenal but we think this is sort of the last frontier for university system. As the project continues to build excitement, Erickson hopes it will make a lasting impact for years to come. So I think that the question we will have is what are ways we can produce cattle more efficiently, better product, maybe less stress on the animal, and hopefully less impact or even positive impacts on the environment. Well, we told you about that major buy from Mexico of U.S. corn this week, but what does it signal? We'll talk about it coming up in our roundtables next.